Hello, listeners. Welcome back to the Smarter Marketing Podcast, Shopify edition. I'm Terry, your host, and today we're going to dive into a topic that can significantly boost your online presence, and that is connecting your Shopify products to your Google retail business listing. Let's talk about the benefits of doing this. The benefits of connecting your Shopify and Google business profile are that you obviously are going to get increased visibility. So what is a listing on Google? When you go to do a Google search for your product, um, let's pretend that it's shoes for this example, and, and you have shoes on Shopify. In the settings, in the menu on the left-hand side of your dashboard, you will be able to connect that to Google. And it shows up in the shopping section at the very top of a search result. So when your customer is out there looking for your particular product, shopping will feature your product. So in your Google business profile for retail, then it becomes a local search result helping potential customers find that product easily. And then your enhanced credibility comes because you have a well curated product listing and it adds cred credibility to your business as a retail establishment. Then there's valuable information that comes along with it, such as product details, reviews, and availability. And then if it is a local product, you have a local SEO boost as well, because if you have that comprehensive information set up, then connecting your products helps you contribute to local SEO, improving your chances of appearing in relevant searches for people near you. So how to do that? That's the next question. We want to take a look at it step by step. First thing you're going to do is verify your Google business retail and ensure that's claimed and verified. It's critical because you want to have the accurate information displayed. If you have a Google business manager that's different than your Google retail merchant, set both of them up if possible. Then go back to your Shopify, log into the admin panel, and then there's a Google channel app in the app store for Shopify. And that's going to facilitate that connection between your store and Google. Next, you want to make the connection. Open that and connect it to your Google account. You'll have hopefully logged in. Google loves Chrome, so if you can work inside Chrome, it'll make your life a lot easier. Make sure that your business Gmail account or your business account, if you're not using Gmail and you've authorized a Google account, Make sure that you're signed in there and your connection should happen as soon as you log in. And then configure your Google settings. So you're going to customize in the app, including shipping and tax information, and then select the products that you want to showcase. That doesn't mean that everything that's in your inventory is going on Google, but you can choose the ones that you want to display. And then make sure we talked in the last episode about having product images, use that light box and your seamless background. So your products look top notch and your photography is high quality. After you've selected the best products and that they have accurate descriptions, then you're going to publish and make sure then that it goes live on Google. And that's it. You have successfully connected your Shopify products to your Google business profile in your merchant retail shopping section. So what do you do after the integration? You can connect them obviously and your products will appear in those search results but you can also advertise as well the customers will see them up there and compare prices and that's a great tool for you after you get them up there to start looking and seeing how your price point compares how your ratings show up and you can manage and set higher expectations and higher information to your customers up there as well. 
<clears throat> and you'll have insights. So monitor the performance of those products on your Google channel and then get insights in the behavior and adjust your strategy. So if you know that something isn't selling, maybe you can advertise it. If it's something that you have a lot of inventory and you need to push it, you can um, make that a promoted item and track that inside your Google as well as your Shopify. And you can also create content on your social channels and integrate that for the product that you have listed. So people will get more exposure to that. That wraps up today's episode on connecting Shopify products to your Google business profile and your merchant in Google. I hope that this information was valuable. If you have questions, please reach out. I want to be here to help you. If you get stuck on something, send me a DM. And if you have future topics that you would like for us to cover in future episodes, also send me a message. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. And then stay tuned. We have more insights for your Shopify store in the next episode. And we also will include some links in the comments in the, the content down below. So check those out. And until next time, happy selling.